Hey guys, happy Black Friday. I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Leave me a comment. I wanna know what you ended up making. I always like to hear about everybody's menus. Now comes the days of leftovers. So if you are finding yourself with a lot of odds and ends from all of your Thanksgiving baking, not to worry, I am gonna show you a fantastic muffin recipe that will put some of those leftovers to good use. They're also gluten-free, so for anybody who has gluten-free diets, this is a great one for you. I find that after the holidays, after I've eaten a lot of pies and breads, I'm ready for a good gluten-free muffin. Let me show you how to make them. So in a large bowl, you're going to add two eggs. To that, you're gonna add a third of a cup of brown sugar. We all have a lot of brown sugar after Thanksgiving lying around, so this is another good recipe. You can put it to use. Then we're gonna add a third of a cup of olive oil. You probably have a lot of that lying around, and I don't know about you, but after Thanksgiving, I'm ready to take a break from all the butter. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of fresh orange zest. And then we're gonna add half a cup of cranberry sauce. I'm sure you probably have a little of that still in your fridge, so go ahead and add half a cup of that. And then we're just gonna whisk this all up until it's nice and combined. And then in a smaller bowl, we're going to add our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take two cups of gluten-free flour. Now this is just the all-purpose gluten-free flour that you can find at the supermarkets. I do have a few favorite brands that I think work really great, so I will leave you some links in the description to three of my favorites. Then you're gonna add a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You probably have some of that laying around. Here's one more recipe that you can put it to good use before you probably put it away for the year. You're going to just whisk that all up until it's nice and combined. And then you're also gonna measure out half a cup of water. And then you're gonna add your dry ingredients, give it a whisk, and alternate it with the water until all your flour and water is incorporated into your batter. And there you go, your batter is ready. Then you're going to prep your muffin tin. Now, here's the thing about gluten-free flours. I find that sometimes they can be stickier than regular flour, so it does help to have a good muffin paper. And I'll also put a link in the description to this brand because I really love it. It's non-stick and helps those muffins just release so easily from the papers. You're gonna go ahead and fill each muffin well to about three quarters of the way full. And then the final step is to add a little bit of chopped pecans, I'm sure you have some of those laying around, to each muffin top. Then we're gonna pop our muffins in a 400 degree oven just until they're slightly golden brown and have risen up. Allow your muffins to cool slightly. Then you can pile them high into a basket. Et voila, breakfast is served. I love this muffin recipe because it's gluten-free, my kids love it, and it's also a little bit guilt-free too. There's not a lot of sugar in it, you're using up all of your leftovers, and you will find you will have one great muffin recipe on your hands that you really can make any time of year. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And to all of my international subscribers, it's official, Thanksgiving is over. I always feel so bad for you guys because every American food channel is obsessed with Thanksgiving for the whole month of November. Not to worry, I hope that it inspired you to try some of our favorite American foods. And if not, it's done with and we are gonna kick off Christmas starting next week. All right, you guys, I'll see you then, bye.